Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at something I call glitch titles made easy. All right, let me show you four examples and then we'll take them apart and we'll make one from scratch. So this is using an effect called wave warp. Uh, it's normally a very un uninteresting effect, but you can tweak it. It is not accelerated, so you're gonna get a red bar, red line in the timeline. You can either render it or play it back if your uh, CPU is fast enough. So let's look at each one of these. I'll select uh, this title, and it's just a basically a regular title with the effect on it, and it, you can get the effect in the effects type wave warp, and you'll see it's in the distort category. So in this particular one, I only have two keyframes, and it starts like that and ends like that. And the property that I'm changing is the wave height. You'll see the wave speed is zero. When you apply wave warp automatically, it does this really lame, wavy, warpy thing that doesn't look good. But if you make that the wave warp speed zero, then it won't change until you keyframe it. So the keyframes I've got here are minus 285, and then we get to the next keyframe, and it's zero. So you're basically just changing how far away that goes. All right, so for the next one, you can see this one is just vertical, and that's because the direction is at 90 degrees, which you can control and change, and you could keyframe that too. So I'm just leaving that at 90 degrees just to give you a different look. I'm also changing the amount of the width. So if I change this width amount, it goes from tiny slices to big chunks. And if you take your mouse over top of a number, click and drag, you can change the number as if it's a slider. If you add the shift key to it, then it moves in larger increments because this value here, you can see it's over 3000. And if you just click and drag, you'll see that I'm dragging smaller amounts. So sometimes if you just wanna have a quick look at what would this look like chunkier, shift, click, drag, drag, drag. All right, let's look at the next one. And this one has a bunch of keyframes. So you'll see it's, this is a little bit more typical of a glitchy kind of a look. So what I've done with this one is you see the wave height is changing over time. So if I just go through each one of these, 44, 19, 63, minus 60, 38, and all I did was just move ahead so if you move your mouse into the program monitor, and if you have a scroll mouse, you can use the uh, trackpad too. And I just scrolled ahead and dragged a number, scrolled ahead, dragged a number. You don't want these exact unless that's what you're going for. But for glitchy stuff, you want that kind of burr, 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 broken up effect. Now the last one I think uh, is the best one. And I'm also scaling this up. And if we look at the, this, I'm changing the direction is zero, so it's going sideways. And I'm also changing the phase. So the phase, I'll, I'll show you the phase in a second, but that is what's happening. And then I have vector motion um, scale moving on this. Now I'm going to give you this project on the videorevealed.com store for free to download so you can play with these. Oh, one other thing before I forget. If you right click on an effect, you can save it as a preset. So you can make these into draggable presets and the presets, I have a whole tutorial I'll link to at the end and in the description where you can save your own presets. So if you create a bunch of glitchy looking titles, uh, you can just save the animation part and apply that to graphics, logos, Photoshop, Illustrator files, or even video. It's just another effect. 
Okay, so what's happening here is when the phase is changing, the phase changes that way. So I'm just dragging the phase and it goes from zero to 78 and then again 78, 78 and it, it, it didn't really change too much with there. But you'll see it gives it this more random effect because these over here, they're going from one state to another state. Pull apart, put together, pull apart, put together. That's fine, maybe you want that. But a typical glitchy effect is that, you know, it kind of jerks out and then it comes back together a couple of times. So let's just try this ourselves. I'm just going to copy that and paste that into my graphics. Okay, so I've pasted the title. If we go to our effects, wave warp, and what's what happens is if you drag this into here, you won't see anything um, because the wave warp is below the text. So. To work with this, we need to go to the captions and graphics and edit. And here you it's easier to see. There's wave warp and there's Armageddon, the text. If we have to drag that wave warp above, because the way effects work in the essential graphics panel with these titles is the effect affects things below it, not above it. It's really powerful that way. And also you can put them in folders so it only affects what's in the folder. But here's the typical lame effect. Yikes. <laughs> That's lame. I don't like that at all. So like I said, we'll turn the wave speed to zero. And now it just, it stays in one place. You've got different wave types and I'll, I'll show you the phase. Remember I told you the phase? So the phase is going to change um, where the wave heights and, and the valleys, the, the dips and the, and the height, where they are. It changes the, the phase. So if you're changing the phase, where things are dipping, while you're changing how far it's offset, that's how you get that, that other glitchy thing going on here, where it, well, it does that. So... What I like to do is change this to something different like square, because now we've got more of a jagged edge. And if you change the width, you'll change it to chunkier, chunkier or more slices and change the direction. So now it's less recognizable, it's more glitchy. And with those settings, the way they are, if we add a keyframe for phase, a keyframe for wave height, and make the, the, the first height zero. And actually we can move these first keyframes over to here and move ahead. Again, I'm just using the, the uh, scroll wheel to move ahead a little bit. And now I'll change this to a hundred and change this however far I want it to go. Move ahead. And I already have those keyframes still selected from when I moved it, those ones. So if you copy and paste, then these that's the zero keyframe. So it does that. And you just need to select all of them. Paste them a, a few, whoops. Copy. It's not gonna allow me to paste multiple ones, so I have to copy and paste, copy, paste, copy. And it's okay if they're sloppy because you want that kind of a, oh, you know what? I shouldn't have been pasting the phase to change. My mistake. Let me delete that. Phase zero at the beginning. And then over here, we'll change the phase to 100. Okay, now we do this. There. And maybe change the angle.
And there it is. But I mean, there's so many options for you to play around with. I like this one here. So you're not gonna win any, any visual effects awards by using this, but it's a simple, quick glitch effect that you can just create for any title. It uses built-in effects, they're not accelerated, but at least you can get a glitchy kind of look that you, you wouldn't normally think Premiere Pro can do out of the box. You don't have to jump over to After Effects to do that. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? Then you can do that through our store, which is where you're going to be when you download these on videoreveal.com slash shop. Uh, you can donate once, monthly, any amount. You will also get access to the member section. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to uh, give you some creative options to destroy your titles to make them look cool.